have here an LED light. It says this light is seven and a half watts, very small print, and it says it is five hundred or four hundred and fifty lumens, and it says it's comparable to a forty watt light bulb. Now this one is also comparable to a forty watt light bulb. It's five hundred and fifty lumens. Now something about that is just not right. It can 40 watt light bulb cannot be 550 lumens and 450 lumens. Actually, this is about a comparison to a 28 watt light bulb, and this one is a comparison to about a 34 watt light bulb. Being uh, based on the standard of 16 lumens per watt of an incandescent light bulb. What I'm going to do next is to uh, test the power usage. This one says it is 9 watts. This one says it's 7.5 watts. We're going to check and see how many watts it actually is. I've got the fluorescent light in first. Turn it on. Now it was rated at 9 watts. It is burning 8.5. What it'll do is it'll warm up and then it, and the power usage will go up as it warms up. After it gets warm it might go back down. Okay, the power usage has dropped back down. It's bouncing between 8.2 and 8.4. At 8.4, assuming the 550 lumens is correct, that would be 65 lumens per watt. Or 65.5. And now our power usage has dropped a little more. Next we'll try the LED power usage. And I'll turn the LED on. This one was rated for 7.5, it is currently only using 7. One thing about LEDs, they are not 360 degree angle. This particular one is 270 degrees. I'm going to let this burn a little while and see if it changes. After sitting a while, it finally went up to 7.2. It's jumping between 7.1 and 7.2. At 7.1, it's 63.4 lumens per watt 7.2 is 62 and a half lumens per watt that's pretty comparable to the fluorescent as far as how many lumens per watt to put out so the LEDs are not saving any money unless you're actually using a lower wattage and getting less light if you're using the same wattage to get the same light then they cost about Pretty close to the same as far as the uh, power usage cost. However, the long one, the LED should last a lot longer, and the LED doesn't release mercury when it's busted because one it, one fluorescent bulb can contaminate a thousand gallons of water. While I'm comparing, I just couldn't leave this one out. This one is rated at four watts. There's a small plasma globe. Turn it on. Man, it's only pulling two watts. About half what it's rated. This is me sticking my hand over it. Jumps up to 3.3. Put my hand back off. Goes back down to 2. 
and back on. And hand back off. So you can see the power jumps up when you put your hand on it. But then that's part of the whole fun. What good would it be to do a comparison on lights if I don't include one of these? Now this one is rated at 320 watts. And these typically run 120 lumens per watt or about twice what the LED and fluorescent was running. We're going to stick it in and see how much it actually uses. Now this light does not have a switch so it's going to turn on as soon as I plug it in. Startup power is 120 watts. This particular bulb does not light right away. It has to heat up. If you're wondering why people don't use these, because that bulb alone can range anywhere from $12 on eBay to like $68 new. The transformer for it can go up around $110. And as this thing warms up, it just keeps getting brighter and brighter. This particular bulb is slightly over 38,000 lumens. I'm going to let it sit here and burn a little while and see if the power usage changes any. Looks like the power usage is going to stay at 358. And you might be able to hear this transformer humming. Some of these hum a lot worse. This one's not too bad. But uh, they definitely hum a lot more than a fluorescent does.